what you see here is my Chroma toilet and at the moment I'm having a problem with it and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that problem leave the problem there it won't stop flushing up and that will cost you an astronomical amount of water first thing you have to do is turn the tap off we'll do that now I'm taking my lid off and what you see could be a little bit different from your toilet there used to be a uh, ball floater here which I've removed to install a new upmarket uh, system so that uh, that would solve one problem which I had before but to solve the problem I've got now it's all to do with these flush buttons and I'm going to show you how to take that off so what you need to do is you've got to put your hand in this side and you gotta grab it and you gotta pull that up. Then you do the same to the other side, you grab that there and you pull it up. But before I get to that, I might need to put the camera down. Then the other thing you gotta do is unhook these things. And if I can show you, it's just it's just below there you gotta take that bit out there and then the same on the other side I'm just gonna turn it off a bit okay so I've unhooked these two pins there and you can see that they're free now one on that side one on this side so that means we can just pull this out okay and I'll show you the problem once I just give this a bit of a clean okay so what we see here is the mechanism so when you flush your toilet, what happens is you push the button down, right? And it's supposed to spring up. But with age, these springs just don't have the strength to push that button all the way up to release the flush mechanism so that it seals. So, and uh, went to Coroma. This toilet's over 20 odd years old. They do not have replacement parts of these anymore so the only option is to replace the whole cistern which was not an option that was too expensive so what I did was I went to the hardware store and I bought a couple of springs and what we're going to do now is we're going to put these springs into the system to aid it so what we do is we're going to just slide it in there one there. Sorry, do it again. Okay, spring. Oh, there's the spring, right? We're going to put it in that bit there. We're going to push the least spring, the plastic one, inside. Okay, and then the other one will fit underneath the button. So now when you flush it, it's a, a lot harder, but it comes all the way up. Alright, that'll work better once it's in the toilet because it keeps everything nice and flush. We'll do the same to the half flush side. So, again, put it in there, feed it through so it sits in nicely there. And now we're just going to put it all back and see if it works. And to put it back, you just do the reverse of what you did to take it out. Okay, I couldn't get it back in, and I'm just going to explain why it was an easy thing. If you can notice, there on the right is a little lug, it's sticking out. Whereas there, on the left, it's not flush. You've got to push that in so that it's flush, otherwise it won't fit in properly. Okay, so now that's flush on both sides, so it's good. That arm which you can see, if I can just focus it there on the left, all right, that has to fit in that hole, okay? So make sure that lines up properly, or that's not gonna work properly. Okay, let's we'll install it now. Now comes the big test. You will notice, now that you put those springs in, that the buttons will sit a bit higher than what they're used to, but that's only because now you've got decent springs in there. All right, let's go for a full flush. We push it down and we will wait. 
and all things go well, we will not have a leaking toilet anymore, and there you go. Problem solved. No more having to beat the crap out of it trying to get your toilet to work again. I hope uh, you like that video and uh, it does help you out. If you do, don't forget to give this video a uh, plus up. Thank you guys, have a great day.